This month we'll tackle ratio word problems with the key strategy, stay organized. And here's our first problem. We have a bag with blue, red, and purple gumballs in the ratio 2 to 3 to 4. And then we're going to throw in five red gumballs, and we're told that the probability of drawing a red gumball out of the bag after we've thrown in these five is 40%. And we're asked for how many gumballs are in the bag there at the end. Now I got all these words. We have to turn it into math. And to do that, we're going to stay organized with the table. We're going to keep track of the red gumballs, because we've given a lot of information about the red gumballs. And we're going to keep track of the total number of gumballs, because that's what we're asked for at the end. And we're also given information about ratios and about probabilities, and those usually involve the total as well. Now, we're also given information about what's going on at the beginning and what's going on at the end. So here's the table we have to fill out. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any numbers we can throw in here right away, so we're going to have to use some variables. I'm going to use a variable for the number of red gumballs at the start. We're going to call that R. And I chose that because it's easy to relate this both to the number of red gumballs at the end. All we're doing is throwing in five more red gumballs. And we can relate it to the total number of gumballs with the ratio right here. We're told that for every three red gumballs, we have two blue and four purple. That means for every three red gumballs, we have two plus three plus four is nine total. So that means the number total is three times the number of red gumballs we have. And all we have left is this last cell here to get from the total at the start to the total at the end. All we're doing is adding those five gumballs. So at the end, we have three R plus five. Filled out the table, still don't have our answer, so we're going to have to think about this a little bit more. Now, whenever I'm a little bit stuck, like I am now, I like to look back at the problem and look for information that I haven't used yet. I haven't used this 40%, so I'm going to focus on that. Probability of drawing a red gumball out at the end, well, that's the number of red gumballs divided by the total number of gumballs. And we're told that this probability is 40%. And I'm going to write that as a fraction. I'm going to write that as 2 fifths. Now, this is equa an equation we know how to solve. First of all, I get rid of the fractions. We multiply both sides by 5. We multiply both sides by 3r plus 5. And we get 5 times r plus 5 equals 2 times 3r plus 5. It's a nice linear equation. We expand both sides. We get 5r plus 25. 2 times 3r is 6r. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract 5r from both sides, subtract 10 from both sides, and we find out that r is 15. Now, it's really tempting to just write down 15 and race on to the next problem. But then we'll get the answer wrong, and we don't like being wrong. The problem is we didn't do the key last thing you have to do with every single word problem is read the question again. Make sure you answer what they're asking. And they're asking for the total number of gumballs at the end. They're asking for this right here. That's not R. We found R, but they're asking for this value right here. We have to take this R equals 15, stick it in this expression. 3 times 15 is 45. Add on the 5, we get 50. We write down 50 as our answer, and we get it right, and we like getting it right. All right, so again, key step at the end, read the question one more time. It's also, of course, a key step at the start. We've got to read the question. Here we're going to have to read a lot. All right, we have a Nikki. She has large, medium, and small metal bars. Large bars are 8 kilograms. Medium bars are 6 kilograms. Small bars are 3 kilograms. And they're each made of iron, nickel, and lead. I'm going to learn a little chemistry here. Iron, the symbol for iron is F E. Symbol for nickel is N I, and the symbol for lead is P B. I'm thinking they came up with those names not all in English the first time, those labels. So we have iron, nickel, and lead present in the ratio 4 to 1 to 3 in the large bar, 2 to 1 to 3 in each medium bar, 1 to 1 to 1 in each small bar. Now, Aniki wants to take a bunch of these bars, melt them all together. She wants to come up with a mixture that's 40 kilograms of iron, 20 kilograms of nickel, 40 kilograms of lead. Now we have to figure out how many small bars. I'm going to go ahead and underline that because we know we want to keep track of what we want at the end. 
has a lot of information here. We're going to use a table again to keep it organized. And this is where our labels are going to come in handy. We've got our iron. We've got our nickel. We've got our lead. And we're going to make a table. We're going to keep track of what's going on. And we have three types of bars. We have large, we have medium, we have small. Let's start with the large bars. We're told that iron to nickel to lead is 4 to 1 to 3. Conveniently, 4 plus 1 plus 3 equals 8, which is how much each of these large bars weigh. So we have 4, four kilograms of iron, 1 kilogram of nickel, and 3 of lead. The same thing conveniently happens for the medium bars. 2 to 1 to 3, 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. That's awfully nice. That tells us we have 2 kilograms of iron, one kilogram of nickel and three of lead. And of course, the small one to one to one, three kilograms total, tells us we have one to one. So it's one large bar, one medium bar, one small bar, and this is the number of kilograms of each of these metals. And we're aiming for 40, 20, and 40. Now we could go ahead and say there's X large bars, Y medium, Z smalls, and start writing equations. And that'll work eventually. I like to look at the numbers, look for some clues, look for some hints, and see if I can simplify things a little bit, because we like simplifying things. Now, if we started just with small bars, if we just only throw in small bars, we end up with the same amount of everything. And that's not what happens at the end. So we have to use something other than small bars. We can't just use small bars. So imagine we throw in a large bar in the mix. You know, Aniki throws in a large bar. She's going to add one kilogram more of iron than of lead. She's got more iron than lead. But at the end, we have to have the same amount of iron and lead. So she's going to throw in one of these large bars that has one more kilogram iron and lead. She's going to have to balance it with one medium bar, which has one more kilogram of lead than iron. So for every large bar she puts in there, she has to throw in one medium bar. So I'm going to combine these. I'm going to say, all right, we're going to have one large and one medium. Because every time she throws in a large, she has to throw in a medium. It's going to be six total, because she's got one of each of these. Four plus two is six. She's going to have two nickel, and she's going to have six lead. All right, every time, we now we know every time we throw in a large, we have to throw in a medium. Now we just have to focus on these bottom two lines here. Instead of combining all three of these, I'm going to combine some number of smalls with some number of large and medium combos. Well, now I'm going to assign variables. Now I'm going to assign variables and write some equations. I'm going to say there are x small bars, so it's going to tell me there are x kilograms of iron, x kilograms of nickel, x kilograms of lead. And I'm going to put in y of these combo bars. It's going to give me 6y iron, 2y nickel, 6y lead. And now I can write equations. First the iron, x plus 6y is our 40. And then the nickel, x plus 2y is the 20. I don't even have to write down anything for the lead because I'm going to get this equation back. We can handle these equations. We subtract the second one from the first one. We get 4y is 20 divided by 4, so we get y is 5. Again, go back, read the question. We want the number of small bars. Y is not the number of small bars. X, that's what we're looking for. We want x. We put y equals 5 back in here. We get x plus 10 is 20. And that tells us that x is 10. Now, for an extra challenge, I want you to find a way to solve this problem, starting from right here, without ever writing down an equation. 